they did this article at uh, CBC and it kind of reminds me of an article I did like years ago, but they said, it's a slippery slope how young men fall into online radicalization. Reed Brown says that YouTube started showing him the problematic content when he was only 13 years old. So this guy's only 13. I love what's the, f- the definition of problematic content. It's kind of like a Facts. horror movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> They're saying, they go, this 13, they found some dork, you know, some dork rat to go, you know, do this article. And he goes, I was radicalized. I was only 13. I was only 13. It started out pretty benign, he recalls. <laughs> Can you make some <laughs> uh, uh, music for me? <laughs> yeah. And increasingly harmful views against masculinity. It started out benign. You're watching something about a teen fashion, and then next thing you know, the algorithm would push you a Ben Shapiro video. Boom, 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 boom. You go, what's that creaking? <laughs> what's in the cupboards? <laughs> Facts don't care about your feelings. You're like, you hear like some Jewish music in the very distant background. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> it's my 13th birthday. <laughs> but I'm only 13. What's the cover? What's in the cover? <laughs> Who's there? Who's Where? there? Where? Mom, mom, oh my, my gold coins are missing. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden he just goes, oh, his gold necklace is just yeah, missing. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> yeah, the Jewish music is really <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ben. It's, oh, who is that? Who is that? It's Ben. <laughs> and there's the classic, the door blows open from the wind. And then yeah. Goes, but there's nobody there and you close and he's behind you. <laughs> oh, Hello. <laughs> he's no he's sitting on the he's sitting on like a the microwave but his legs still aren't t- <laughs> touching the the counter so he's just like he's swinging his legs on the microwave <laughs> oh hi what's the issue uh, traditional marriages are a good thing ah! oh! <laughs> then, yeah his, and his son comes home he goes mom i don't know about this wage gap thing he goes he's only 13 <laughs> so funny because like yeah he just has an opinion based on statistics coming this thursday to theaters near you facts don't care (laughs) about your feelings and they also don't care about your life mommy i've been a bad boy mommy what's on the computer no it's it's yeah he's like and if you think about it if you think about it trans people kill themselves at the same rates when they're not and then you go na 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 Next thing you know, you're editing Ben Shapiro comps. This guy just wakes up. He goes, what the hell? He's, his hands are moving without him, and he's editing Ben Shapiro destroys videos. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't. He just wakes up. Ben Shapiro destroys 17-year-old. He goes to school. Everyone's like, love the videos, but I don't remember yeah. making a Ben Shapiro destroys. Hey, Joe, where'd you learn to edit like that? He goes, I don't uh, know. I, I don't know. I, uh, his hands are just moving without him. Oh, my God. He's editing two Ben Shapiro destroys <laughs> compilations yeah, at, once. at once. And then his arms, like, you just are... <laughs> <laughs> he's got one. He's, he has a computer behind him, and his arm is like <laughs> yeah, the just, joints all dislocated. He's like editing Ben Shapiro Pones College this kid guy, video. This guy must be a fucking real, real cool at his school right now, though. Oh, it's the guy who article about him. He must oh, have gotten he went, so he, much trouble that he's got to like. Because he, you know, do you think that's what happened? I think what or, happened is he's like he just he went to high school and started dating some girl, and now he's trying to be like a male feminist, probably. Or thing, he has you know? a parent at like CBC. Who knows? And part of the punishment. Well, no, he went to this organization that they talk about because, and and uh, exposed them to controversial and increasingly harmful views about masculinity, like the fact that you should have some. Yeah, I know. Like it's okay to have a penis if you're a man. <laughs> that is the end game for all this stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just chopping off the hog. Job done. Pretty much. Because yeah, they go. Also, here's even better. Is uh when they're talking about Ben Shapiro, they're like, they're turning these guys into these alpha monsters. Because <laughs> Ben Shapiro. Yeah, I know, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, just the height of masculinity. Yeah, it's one thing if they're saying they'll talk bad views about masculinity, Andrew Tate, you, at least that like holds up to, at least you make sense with what you're saying. You're just like, you're being too much of a man. Have you been listening to Shapiro? <laughs> this guy's just walking around punching walls. 
Shapiro got uh, me jazzed up. Yeah, they want to. They just want all dudes to be chicks, basically. Th- that's their whole thing. That's the CBC's actual mandate, I think. Their right? actual mandate is like just remove, suck every last little bit of masculinity out of any man, mm-hmm. so we can just be a weak little subservient s- manslave to some <laughs> polyamorous woman. Yeah, be in the orbit of some chick. <laughs> you can be some guy's planetary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The objectification of women and the LGBT community has these same experts raising concern about how extremist far-right groups are using TikTok, YouTube, and other social media apps in a drip campaign. Is a drip campaign. Bloop. Bloop. That's, that's <laughs> yeah, what happens. That's, that's the, yeah. It's faucet, and then you zoom in. It's Ben Shapiro's face. Yeah, it just drips down, and it was just like... <clears throat> The wage gap isn't actually true. That's what they say in this thing too. They go, this guy even says, he goes, you know, and I was on the lo- online and I started, you know, believing all these fake things about the wage gap or whatever. That's the one example they use, but you go, yeah, but that one is like real. I know. That's also what- like everyone, th- like that's not even one that I feel like anyone, tr- any liberal person that's trying to like not seem like a, a psychopath even like. They've given up on, yeah, they've yeah, like, even they, given it's, up it's on that It's just been one. debunked so many times. It was just like, it does not true. I know. But again, if you ask them, uh, the, uh, so many people, they're, they're you know, still another good thing that's happening in Canada true. right now. So they just put a bunch of money into this, um, this mandate to like get more black people jobs or whatever. And it was like the, you know, minority POC like job program and, to, you know, putting all this money into getting them interviews and doing this stuff. But the white and black unemployment rates the same. So it's like, <laughs> where, 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 did, like, where do you get the jobs from? It's like they have the same unemployment rate, right? So it's like, what you go? We're trying to get them to hire, hire more black people. It'd be like, from where though? They all have jobs already. Yeah, like, you know what I mean. It's not well, like a, they're gonna it's actually whites. not like a more of a problem that their unemployment. Rate yeah, is there's no high. there's no disparity. There isn't a disparity, but they're just like. Listen, yeah. we got to spend these dollars, dollars somehow. Listen, white people, you got to make some sacrifices. Yeah, but what are the changes. sacrifices? Like, who do you, so you fire a white guy, in, but like, they don't really have, it's not, there isn't this crazy, like there's more job opportunities than there are people. Like that's the problem, yeah. period. You yeah. know what I mean? The problem isn't that there's tons of people that want jobs and trying to find them. It's the opposite, right? I don't think they're coming at this from the logical standpoint. And I think you think. No, of course not. <laughs> Facts don't care for you about your feelings coming this Thursday. What's another one of his catchphrases? Can't think of another oh, one. Okay, that's just the one. That's the main one, I guess, right? <laughs> you know, you go, he's yeah, he's drinking a cup of water and he goes, Oh, this tastes weird. What is it? He looks at it liberal <laughs> serious. <laughs> Maybe that. It burns! It burns! <laughs> No, what happens is he starts crying. No, that's okay. That's what happens. The guy's chasing him around, and he just hears that. Yeah, uh, dun, 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 dun. And he goes, "Mom, mom!" He starts crying, and then his tear drips down, and then there's just a tiny mug just appears yeah. to catch it. <laughs> oh, hello! <laughs> yeah, just from behind him. Oh, just from behind him. I'll <laughs> take those. <laughs> just catches the liberal tears. <laughs> This is my sustenance. Yeah, he's he only drinks yeah, liberal tears. That's the big thing is, is he can't get movie. your tears because if you he gets your tears, that's what gives him power. Oh my god! Right? That's so what it's it like, is. oh, but he and the, but he's able to make you cry with his facts. Yeah. So the facts, like he he just so you have to like put earplugs go go put the earplugs in, otherwise you're gonna hear the facts, and then you hear the fact you don't get them in soon enough, and then he's got oh, the facts, and you start crying, and he's catching them. He goes yes, and he's growing larger and larger, but he's still like the proportions of <laughs> women a small are actually man. Go, women actually go to college at a higher rate than men right now. No. Oh, get the plugs no, on! Get the plugs! Get he the goes, There's plugs. actually more women than men. No! It's oh, like a- oh. He goes, yes. Men are incarcerated it. and commit suicide at a higher rate. Then stop it! <laughs> stop it! The facts. And then <laughs> they start bawling their eyes out. <laughs> and then he catches the tears and he goes, and he grows yeah, a little he grows, bit. Yeah, he grows, he grows. Every time he grows a little bit. <laughs> he grows a little more powerful. The facts get more potent. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> <laughs> Wait, somebody needs to animate this, please. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. Um, so they aren't happy until you're at your final form, which is a woman. Yep. And they said, <laughs> that's, that's the yeah. final form that's of the it. Final, all women and women like men. The videos Brown watched as an early teen were often misogynistic. He said it started uh, to affect the way he thought and interacted with people at school. I remember people repeating sexist attitudes about the wage gap. Uh, especially when I was hanging out with my guy friends who were repeating, well, I, yeah, I, I was, again, statistics. I would assume Se- that sex- you're not hanging out with like eight girls and they were all like, there's wage gap. Shit, but again, bullshit. the sexist attitudes are just literally like probably statistics. <laughs> They're the facts. That's the facts. That 
do not care about the feels. Especially when I was hanging out with my guy friends. So this guy's since been reprogrammed, you know what I mean? Yeah, he goes, I only have women friends. I'm gay now. Things are better. That's the only thing that can save you from, uh, you know, uh, the Ben Shapiro doll is if you go into the chamber, the reprogramming chamber, and then it comes out and he comes out, he goes... No, the only thing that can save you is, you ever seen that scene in MacGruber where he, he wants to uh, rip off uh, MacGruber's, uh, Gunther wants to rip off MacGruber's dick and eats it? Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing that can save you is if you finally cut off your dick because <laughs> once you cut off your dick, like the tear, it changes the dynamics of the tears. Yeah, yeah, it's a woman's tear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he needs, yeah. <laughs> so that's the final, the final form is that's the way to... You can save yourself from him. We all have to just cut off each other's dicks. I figured it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You figured out the thing. And this little rat uh, said that because he goes, you know, my guy friends are misogynistic. He's now been pro programmed. Well, thankfully, because of this article, you don't have any guy friends anymore. Problem solved. That is a problem solved. And since his friends act these things out in person, it made it more real than just watching the idea online. That's exactly how online radicalization works, says this girl, Ellen Bateman, who uh, is a documentary and podcast producer who researches online radicalization among young men in incel subculture. Bateman describes the radicalization as a slippery slope that can begin as algorithms uh, pushing boys things. But then she began working with, oh, he, so it's a guy, a guy ex guy. Yeah. He began working with schools in Nova Scotia, hoping to give men a safe space to talk about their feelings. So, <laughs> and mental health to disrupt problematic ideals about masculinity. And those problematic ideals are that any of it should exist in any shape or form. Yeah. Yeah. I like the, the best part is the last article or the last line. Young men aren't inherently, this is from him. He goes, young men aren't inherently, actually, let me say more dweeb voice. Uh, he goes, young men aren't inherently sexist. I think it's the algorithms that can really make them this way. So there was no sexism prior to algorithms. Oh, it's the al algorithms. Yeah, he goes, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah, the yeah. algorithms. It's <laughs> such a boogeyman. You go, it's just the algorithms. For I mean, sure. Guys would never be like this. And yeah, that's 100%. He goes, and many of the uh, the students who participated said after the did his, his uh, seminars, they no longer needed to perform a quote unquote certain kind of typical and traditional masculinity. <laughs> now they have like this, it's masculinity 2.0. He goes, guys, you passed the class. Now put on your vibrating underwear. Masculinity 2.0 is an awfully f similar to femininity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the, well, there was, um, you know, what the, you know what the, I was thinking too, because this is the new version of women trying to turn men into a certain way. The old version of, uh, that kind of happened in forever of women uh, was just like rom-coms. That was their best programming before was, you know what I mean? You you watch all these movies and they get you doing wacky shit like objecting at your ex-wife's wedding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's Now they got them, you know, doing stuff like trying to rat on their friends. That was before it was more, at least they got something out of it. That was like, you, you know, they pumped these dudes full of like, what gets a girl and you watch too many Freddie Prince Jr things you know you know you have a couple of drinks one night and you show up to your ex's uh wedding and you go i have an objection and you get kicked out no, i still screaming. love you <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they they were trying to they used to try to program guys into being like this traditional version of like a romance guy yeah. and then that well that became pretty uh not cool with the whole me too stuff exactly like so, don't you remember like when we were kids like the, you know with like you were supposed to be like guys were supposed to be persistent 100 percent right? that casanova. was the thing the casanova was the guy who like didn't take no for an answer was the height yes. of romance was the guy who like doesn't settle for no uh -huh. <laughs> for like every like every guy is supposed to be programmed with like don't take no for an answer peppy le pew <laughs> peppy le pew basically and then now you're like yo just when the n don't comes talk out, at all no it's like when the not even the end of the no when the end starts you go all right i, I unclear <laughs> 